question eight. Lots to read through, but what are the important bits? The first important bit here is to see that this angle they gave us is two thirds pi, and this is a straight line here. Now you remember straight lines have got 180 degrees on them, so in radians they've got pi radians on them. And to work out the other one, we're going to do pi, take away two thirds pi, which is pi over three. So there's the first part, that angle there is pi over three. Do you remember what pi over three is in degrees? It's 60 degrees, isn't it? And because that bit's 60 degrees, that means that this part here is an equilateral triangle. We were told that the radius here is two. And so that means this chord here that we need to find the length of is two. Now I'm sure there's going to be a question later on where it's not an equilateral triangle and we'll have to use some uh, cosine rule to figure out that. But we've got just the simple way of doing that to start with. So that bit's two, there's two, and there's two. And all we need to do now is work out the bit around the outside there. And that's just r times theta. So two times by two pi over three which is 4 pi over 3. So the curved bit's 4 pi over 3. Here and here is 2 and 2 and 2, which is 6. So the total perimeter of that shape is 6 plus 4 pi over 3.